Hi, um, I'm LP that had Jiva Silva and I'm here to um, talk to you about a few works um, I've done with the University of Nottingham and my connections with the university, um, the collaboration and um, of what I'm doing at the moment really. Uh, so this is me in my studio, um, trying to keep busy as everybody else, I guess we're on a week five of a lockdown. Um, and it's been a quite interesting time really because uh, it's made me think of a work that I did for uh, University of Nottingham as part of my exhibition, Making Beauty, uh, which was shown at Janogli Gallery in 2016. I worked uh, very closely with five patients um, together with uh, Dr. Giles Major and we did the recordings in conversation with the patients and the sound was then edited and showcased as part of one of the pieces called um, Rendention of Self. Um, uh, the sound is actually on my website and if you want to hear it you can go to the Making Beauty page. Um, uh, it's interesting really because that piece of work really made me think about this whole kind of lockdown time and and at the time I wasn't really paying well, I was paying attention, but it wasn't really affecting me because a lot of the time patients were talking about this um, uncomfortable lockdown sessions that they had in their own houses due to their um, uh, health and illness and what they had to deal with. So um, so it's an interesting sound piece where um, the, we recorded them in conversation, but in fact... Um, they were not pre present at the same time, so they are singly recorded and then edited to sound like you're in conversation with each other. Um, and the piece itself is is a stomach uh, made out of uh, a piece made out of cow stomach, um, where you, as a visitor, put your head inside and you listen to this conversation of the five patients. Um, and also lots of different noises, which we asked them to record themselves um, in terms of like their stomach making particular sounds due to the disease and the illnesses or feelings they had at the time. Um, another piece of work I would like to mention is okay. called Eridis Prevails, and that was um, completed in June 2019. Um, and, um, and the work then was very much about um, working with students um, and looking at, uh, in particular, the Dutch elm disease. Um, Eridis prevails is made out of two elm trees um, uh, which were diseased and died due to this Dutch elm disease. And, and it's interesting because the way the beetle buries itself inside the, uh, the bark uh, slowly lets the fungi kind of affect the tree and slowly kills it from inside out. But du during this process, it leaves some beautiful traces uh, which um, can be seen once the bark is removed and the patterns we produce, the positive and the negative um, on both trees of this uh, uh, a beautiful, uh, uh, they're called feeding galleries um, that the uh, um, beetle produces. The work is cited just outside Lakeside and it's on my website as well so you can see it. Um, my, co my collaboration with Nottingham University continued with um, um, working together and uh, I had an opportunity to visit China in September last year, 2019, and um, I spent three months uh, being exposed to this amazing different culture. I spent um, um, three months in uh, Chengdu working as an artist in residency um, and I had an opportunity to travel thanks to University of Nottingham and met with uh, James uh, Parkinson in uh, Nimbo. Well, we met in Shanghai and then traveled to Nimbo and then uh, spent some time at uh, Nimbo University of Nottingham and then um, uh, visited lots of places together in Shanghai. Um, and that was a, an amazing experience um, and an interesting time for me because um, just the, the food, the, the markets, the exposure to such a different culture was just incredible. Um, back here in my studio at the moment, I am working on, a, on an elm tree, which is just next to me, 
which came from University of Nottingham, as a uh, um, reject because it was not good enough to be part of the commission, but in fact is good enough to be made into an object. Um, so I've been gilding this tree by uh, trying to expose the pattern that the Dutch elm disease has left, or the beetle has left. These beautiful markings, hopefully you can see it from a distance. Um, and um, yeah, it's um, it's an interesting time and um, um, nice to be in my studio to do things that I don't get a chance normally to do because I'm constantly running after projects and commissions. But hopefully um, this will be a, an opportunity to something different to happen. And um, this uh, particular piece is meant to be going to an exhibition in Brighton, which sadly was postponed due to Corona. Um, virus but hopefully that will come back uh, once this lockdown is done and and we can just get on with things maybe not the way we used to but hopefully we can still do stuff so um yeah that's me and um hope to see you all soon bye bye